This is Gord Banjo number 18 for me. This is shipping out today. I'm up here this morning. I was up here last night too, but my audio got messed up. So I'm back here and I'm going straight to ship this out after, after filming this video. But yeah, this one was built on commission. It's a 23 inch scale length. It's got this really crazy cherry, I think it's cherry burl, um, this, this uh, fingerboard wood, and then it's this really nice walnut with some, some figuring in it, and just a really nice grain pattern overall on it. And um, yeah, this cherry, I was, I was back in New York visiting my, my grandparents, my family, and I was at my grandparents' house, and someone had, one of my grandpa's friends had just given him this piece of cherry and um, I, I thought it, I took one look at it and thought it'd be perfect for a for a fingerboard. So I brought a bunch of blanks of it. I cut a bunch of blanks there and brought a bunch back with me. Um, yeah, it's my first time with planetary tuners on a gourd, and they work really well. I think I still prefer friction tuners, like if it were if it were my banjo, but it does save me a lot of time in the building process to just be able to slot those in and not have to carve out a whole tuning peg, five whole tuning pegs. And yeah, that's about it for this one. I'm up here in the Verdugo Mountains. This is just above, that's downtown LA you can see behind me and a little further back you can see, you can just barely see the ocean. But yeah, the Verdugo Mountains are kind of interesting because it's a pretty rugged mountain range and it's surrounded on all sides by development. So I, I can't really think of another place quite like this mountain range. And it's pretty close to my house, so I come here a lot. But yeah, it's a really, and the Burbank Airport is right over there. There's a landfill right behind me. It's just a very, a very unique spot because you really feel like you're out there, but you look, I can see all of Burbank, Glendale, North Hollywood, Studio City, I can see in the downtown LA. Yeah, it's interesting. But down a little bit it's in um it's an fcfac which is already a bit low <laughs> got it a little lower now so you can just hear some of the lower registers this thing can make
thing about these small banjos, I think they're more, they're really ver more versatile than people think. They can really get into the low, deep registers that you want from a gourd banjo. And you can also tune them right up to standard and get a nice, bright, more, more traditional banjo sound out of them. So, or I guess not more traditional, but more like what people think of when they think of the banjo sound. And yeah, the last thing I forgot to mention, this is my, uh, this is another, this is the second peg head that I've made in this style. This is a style I, I came up with and in my head it's like a canoe, I call it the canoe paddle style, but it, I don't know why I do this because it, it doesn't look anything like the handle, it looks like the end, like the end that you dip in the water. But I just, I like that idea and the way that it, there's no separation where it meets the neck, it just, it's just one continuous curve right into the neck and I don't, I haven't really seen, I don't know if I've seen quite that type of look before and I really, I'm, I really like it and I'll definitely build more, more like that. But anyway, yeah, just the idea of it, calling it a canoe paddle kind of, I don't know, I like that for some reason, even if it doesn't really look like a canoe paddle. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.